This demonstration we're going to create a simple C-sharp program using a uh, straightforward IBDMM driver. So we have here uh, Visual Studio. First step is just to create a new project. We won't do anything special, just a console application Windows project using the default name and settings. So here we see the conventional uh, solution. So okay, the first step in doing this is to add a reference. So we'll just right click on references, do add references. Go down to the uh, IV section of the uh, name list here and choose the Agilent 34410. Remember to check the little box and that brings in the reference we can see here. Now that that reference has been added, we can uh, pick up the namespace. So we want to use the Agilent namespace for the 34410. And specifically, we'll be using the Interop assembly. The Interop on the end there designates to Visual Studio that we're using the .NET interface for the COM object. So this is a uh, IV COM driver as opposed to one of the uh, IV .NET drivers. OK, so to use the driver now, we'll uh, write a short program just putting the uh, instrument in simulation mode to show how that works without a physical instrument hooked up. So we'll start by uh, just declaring a variable, we'll call it DMM, and say that's equal to a new Agilent 34410. It's as simple as that. We now have the uh, object reference, and the first step to using the driver is going to be to initialize it. We see here the first parameters are resource name. The resource name is a conventional Visa resource name. So although we're in simulation, it doesn't really matter what we put here. It would be something like GPIB07 for a conventional DMM address. Then we can specify whether the driver should start out by querying the identification of the instrument. This will, the driver will verify that the instrument it's connected to is one that's supported by the driver. And then we can also specify that we want to have the initial instrument initially reset as opposed to starting up in whatever state the front panel's in. Finally, there's a ASCII string. This is where we will specify that the driver will be used in the simulation mode. Okay, now we have the driver initialized. We can do something useful with it. So let's say we want to perform a DC voltage measurement with our DMM. We'll say DMM dot voltage. Choose the DC voltage measurement and First, we will configure the measurement. And the first parameter to configure is range. So that's approximate setting for the multimeter. So let's say we think our measurement's going to be on the order of uh, a volt. So we'll put in two volts so we have some range and ask for uh, resolution. And so as you can see here, we're being prompted for the resolution enum. So we'll put in the resolution enum and ask for best possible resolution. Okay, next we're ready to get a reading from the instrument. So we'll say DMM and then the measurements. IV are generally in a measurements tree. So we look under measurement and find there a read method. And uh, notice from the IntelliSense here that that read method returns a double. The same read method here is used whether you're making one reading or a thousand. So we're going to have to get a, 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 ver a array back from it and uh, it has no parameters. So we'll uh, basically just get a var readings, since that's an array, is a DMM measurement read. So we've now got a reading back from it. And so to print that out on the console, do something like console write line reading back from the DMM was with the actual value from the DMM, which will, of course, be readings of zero in this case. So just grabbing the first element from that array. And then we'll just say console read line so we actually have a moment to see the result. So we should be able to run this, and that will open up the driver and perform these steps. So just pressing F5 here to run that. We see it fires up, and in simulation mode, we get a zero back from the DMM. So that's all it takes to 
really get started using an IV driver. One interesting thing that's worth noting at this point is that the actual API we used with the driver, other than the basic instantiation and initialization here, was a API defined specifically for the 34410, uh, which has voltage readings grouped underneath a voltage interface with DC voltage and AC voltage underneath it. There's also an IV standard DMM definition that has a little less richness in terms of the settings that you can make on DC voltage and AC voltage, but has the advantage of being a class compliant API, one that can be used from uh, any compliant DMM. So let's look at how we can modify this program or maybe write a little section underneath it that will use the driver as a uh, IV compliant one. To use that, first we need to go up to the using block, add a reference to the IV interop assembly since we'll be using the uh, IV DMM object instead of the, or interface instead of the uh, 34410 interface. And we'll come down here and now we'll declare an IV DMM as a, uh, another object reference. But we will coerce the DMM object into being an IV, providing an IV DMM interface. So you see here the IV DMM is the IV defined interface for the DMM as opposed to the Agilent defined interface for the 34410 we had here. So now if we look at the IV DMM and look at IntelliSense to see what's available, we see, you know, measurement, range, resolution um, are now all defined at the root. There is no voltage interface as we had before. And uh, basically what we have is a very basic DMM capability, but done in a way that's completely generic. Again, if we step out of that again and look at the DMM interface, notice we now have voltage underneath DMM with, you know, DC voltage and then quite a few different settings related to different things that this particular instrument allows you to do. But if we go back and look at the IV interface, we can see that there is a interface defined for that, which is functional enough for our simple example here. So we will, uh, as before, now the, the instrument has been adequately initialized. Initialized call is actually an IV defined call that we access there. So for the IV DMM, we will just go to configure and see now that the first parameter of the configure is a particular function that we want to configure for. So we'll specify DC volts. And for the range, we'll say again a two volt range and a we'll say one millivolt resolution. Notice that this time instead of a specific resolution, which would be specific to the instrument, we're using uh, one millivolt, which can be interpreted by, by any instrument. Okay, the next step is to get a reading back from the DMM. So we will just declare a reading and we go to IV DMM dot measurement dot read. So notice the fact that, again, the organization is the same. There's a measurement interface. One of the advantages, even when you're working with an instrument specific API, is that the direction set by the class and the IV consortium in general for how to name and organize things is normally uh, respected within the driver itself. So anyway, so now we read. In this case, we've now got to provide a timeout in milliseconds for that reading, so we'll give that 100 milliseconds. And then finally print it out as we uh, did with the uh, instrument specific API, say the reading back from the IV interface, the DMM. And again, since we're in uh, simulation mode still, we should get a very boring zero back. We can see what happens. Okay, so running that now. Make sure that's visible. We see that we got the reading back from the IV interface was a zero also. And of course, if we hooked up an actual instrument to this, we could run the same program, changing just the uh, simulate equal true here and the address of the instrument and open it up. So that's the end of this demo. 
Thank you for your interest in this Ivy training video. There are several other videos available on the Ivy Foundation website, along with getting started guides and getting started videos. All are available at the uh, URL here, http colon www.ivyfoundation.org slash resources. Thank you.